Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to qualifying for round number three of the NOF SRL Camping World Winter Series live from Kansas Speedway. Today, it is the SFP 250 qualifying beginning later today and beginning later today at approximately 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Hello once again everyone, I'm Marius and Cal. I hope you all are having a great day so far. Casey missed us yesterday in the race, it was a crazy one. Uh, I had to do two different races, the first one I had to end a little bit early because of the, uh, the game crash as you put it. But yeah, you missed us out, Diego Yepes took home his first career on OFSRL win, having to deal with lap traffic, but he managed to get it done. Yes, I am using a different mic, oh gosh. Is it loud? Holy crap. I'm going to turn this down then. Thank you. Thank, thanks for saying something, guys. How do I sound now? Do I sound good or no? I'm trying a different mic out because the mic I usually use for my uh, game, that's my blue snowball. Um, the, web, the webcam is usually out of sync, so I'm trying to see if the webcam mic works, keeps in sync with the uh, actual webcam. Still allowed? Okay. I'm sorry I, I killed I sorry I killed you guys' ears. <laughs> Alright, I'll turn it down a little bit more. La 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 How about this? How about th if you can't hear me during the qualifying, let me know. I'll turn it up. I'll do I'll do it like this. I have it all the way down as much as I can, so I'm not too sure if that works. Alright. So, let's get it set for qualifying here. In case you are new to the NLF SRL, let's explain the qualifying rules for tracks that are at least one and a half miles or bigger. So here are the rules. you got two groups going on for round one. Uh, they'll each go off for 20 minutes. The top six cars will advance to round two. All the drivers in the top six in both groups will be on the track at once. Uh, for a five-minute qualifying session, the fastest driver gets pull. Positions 13 through 51 will be based on time. Now it's silent. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna test this out. Cut, cut. Okay, that's quiet. Oh wait, hang on a second. This is not all the way up. Okay, do I sound good? I mean, I'll go like this. Nah, I'll go down. I'll go like this. Okay, that's good. All right, I'll try that out. All right, turn off the preview there. All right, so we are just about set to go here for qualifying. Group one, I will switch over to this. And let's do it. Turn the volume up. Okay. I'll do it like this. Oh, wait. Oh, that was for someone else. Rip. All right. Oh, wait. Wrong track. Wrong track. That's, can that's Atlanta. We want Kansas. Hang on a second. Here we go. This is it. And I just realized something. I gotta restart the game. Because apparently, what happens is, yes, we always have to have a technical difficulty. Turns out, whenever the um, whenever you load up the game, then plug in the HDMI, you still get the the speakers uh play, playing the RS two thousand three stuff. But then, if you plug it in, then load up RS two thousand three, then it works fine. Okay. Yes, hi Tony Stewart. Alright, let's go qualifying. So in case you want to know where you are, uh where which group you'll be in for qualifying, it's down in the description. If you're not in group one, you will be in group two. Now I gotta turn my mic up. Okay. That's where I stopped. Okay. 
good. I hope that sounds good. If I sound much different uh, compared to yesterday, I'm going to be watched. The first driver on track is David Ratt in the 49. He's got a playoff point. Oh, great. Why is that ticker wrong? Hang on. I thought I saved it as fictional replay.stp. Hang on a second. That ticker just is not supposed to be how it is. Oh. That's why. Hang on a sec. Copy, Liz, I don't want, okay, we'll go here, here, layout. We will get to qualifying, don't worry. All right, now we should be good. Now we can go qualifying. There's the new ticker. So 20 minute qualifying for group number one. Let's see who the first one on the track will be. First driver to come out, that is a black car, I see. It's the 19, if I'm correct, Tristan Allen, it is. Tristan Allen looking for his first career Camping World Winter Series victory. Let me load, let me get my standings out here. Not in the top ten, I know that. Allen's on his first lap at the moment. So Tristan right now at the moment, he is currently in third in the standing. I will move to the face cam. There I am. Allen comes to the strike, first lap of 33-340, up to position number one. Next car on track we got, let's find him. The 74 Tony Reed is in the top 10 points. Ninth is a non star driver at the moment. And standing to leave all the non star drivers for right now. Let's go on board with him for a lap. Who it is, though. 
She's looking to make her first start of the season. Lost it to Gatlin Downey by 1 1,000th of a second in qualifying uh, what, two nights ago. Ahead of her, the 02 Steve Morgan, currently 14th quickest at the moment. Next group ahead, the 6 Edwin Mendez. Did not make it in the race yet last night. Johnny Gerdo will make is making every race this season. I suppose he will try that big red I will not win the race for you. Yes, this is first round. up ahead of these two drivers on the 92. He, if I'm from, I believe he's going to be working for the playoff race. Again, has not, I don't, if I'm correct, he has not finished the race yet this season. And the 92 team. DJ Reed is the next two energy use for the speed jump team winner. Did not make the race yesterday, unfortunately. Let me make the second start of the season. Currently 19th in the standing defense for us. Isaac Redman, the 68. He had a chance to win. Unfortunately, though, got slowed down by Johnny Garner with two laps to go on in turn number three. There's Ryan Ferris in the number 27, 15th quickest at the moment. Trying to finish a race this season. Uh, he has finished one, but was very small on the track. Did not finish the at least that win.
Top six are still Caesar Squirrelly, Two Friesen, Russell Allen, and Watson. Ethan Hoffman to the inside on Justin Zidell at the moment. A 51, Cody Prince, the season one a truck series champion, won the pole at the last race at Atlanta. Currently 23rd quickest for the 29.596. If he wants to improve, he needs to be in the draft. Everyone right now is in the 29 second mark. No one's in the 28th yet. It could happen though, maybe even in the two. The 98, Jake Rogers has raced here before at Kansas. Unfortunately, it's not won a race yet. Uh, especially in the series. Five ahead of him is the fastest guy on track, which is Julio Caesar. There is the man that went on the wildest ride in truck series history, I, I would call it, Raymond Whitlock. Currently 22nd quickest for car in the An update here, Justin Zidell in the 13 has made his way up to the fourth position. Let's find Mr. Zidell. There he is. He's drafting with Carter Friesen. He's up to fourth and now two times have changed. Steve Morgan and Tony Green have made their way up to second and third with the 29 and 29 Justin Zidell is down a boat. He's tied with Alexander Russell for that 29-338. Now what happens at this time? It comes down to points at the moment. And if I am correct, it would go to Justin Zidell. And that it will. He's 30, even though 37 is standing. No, it would go to Russell, actually. No, wait, that's fine in the standing. Okay, so I give it to Zidell because he made more stuff in the season. Well, Buddy Watson kind of comes out of his old ride in the 92, which is earned by Stuart Red. See if we can if there's someone else we've not talked about just yet. There's the 52, Zachary Fitzwater, 25th quickest. He needs the draft. He's all by himself at the moment. This season, Prince C.B. Carey, 12th in the standings, 24 points by points to uh, Michael Canto. And Cortez Newman has taken 6th spot in the number 21. There he is on board right now. He's on the ground and he's just right. of Jeff Bright is in that 308 at the moment. Tenth in the standings. <laughs> Watson's gone to fourth with 29-238. So Riley Sprilly Tube now is in the cutoff of the 29-254. Any updates on the time stop? Zidal is going to have a in nine. Nothing changed in the top six. So right now it's Jeff Bright, Julio Caesar, Steve Morgan, Benny Watson, Tony Green, and Riley Sprague to got the top six. That would move out at the moment. Should round one end right now. Jeff Bright trying to improve that time once again. Can't do that just yet. 
This pack is led by DJ V. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 drivers in the draft at the moment, and it could soon be 12 because they're catching up to Isaac Redman in the 68. That's half of our group right now. These guys here are just trying to stay in separate packs and trying to avoid a big wreck should have happened here. Ooh, Grand got on the wall, nearly got triggered, um, nearly triggered a red wreck from Edward Mendez. Six minutes to go and lose one round one. Three wide up, nearly three wide up, turn two, score Grand. It's still having a little trouble out there on the track. And they're stacking them up right now. They don't have Isaac Redman just yet. Turn four, usually Calamity Corner, because off turn four, these drivers usually hit the wall. And Caesar, I think I was trying to go out. I'm not too sure. I don't see a tie. That's weird. I don't see a tie in the last time. Five minutes ago, oh, Martinez caught the wall, looks like. You cannot be hitting that wall, that slows you down big time, and you won't be really doing your stuff at all. Grant, trying to go on the high side on Sachi. He has to slow it down, because he needs to get into that wall off of two. But Mendo is just dropping down to the road, yep, he's going to come on in. Try and make a last minute adjustment to try and make it in the top six. He's 17th quickest for right now. Top six is still the same. The cutoff is, the, is 29, 254. That is 16, 1,000 of a second. Oh no, 14. Oh no, it is 16. I'm right, the first time. Four ten to go. Ryan Ferris and Alexander Russell working with each other with Cody Prince, Carter Friesen, and Justin Zidell. Coming to the line. Ferris actually may have a good time here. No. Four tenths off. Another group of four, Fitzwater, Allen, Whitlock, and Rhett. Rhett looks to the inside on Whitlock. Whitlock will not get a fast time. Maybe Rhett won't either, because Whitlock's trying to side draft him. Not getting it right now. Oh, Whitlock almost turned Rhett around. Susan Hoffman. Hoffman, on, he is way below the cutoff. Caesar's second quickest at the moment. And now the big pack here. I want to look at time real quick before qualifying nine. I want to see if we one of the walls on the track. much different. It still has a safer barriers there, but I don't know what's going on with that. I gotta change that so it's set so it's a soft wall dot map on a sandbox. I can fix that all easily. I'll do it after qual it'll, it'll be fixed by ten off on top hopefully. Two minutes to go here, no change in the top six for right now. Looking ahead, we got Edwin Mendez in car number six. Or truck number six, he's 17 for right now. Mendez, will he be faster here? Will not. He needs the draft. Prince on the inside on Friesen. These guys, 25th and 7th. 
breathe in. He's still 16 one thousandth of a second shy of making the cutoff. <laughs> Square two game back on the track. Here's the next four guys right here. Whitlock inside Martinez. Whitlock can't do anything about it. We'll lose a lot of time here. Allen and Fitzwater comes the line, and he changes here. Nothing. Nearly identical laps as last time. Ethan Hoffman is in turn number two at the moment. Less than a minute to go here in round one, group one. Oh, hello. You can't hear me now? Oh, great. Hang on. Oh, I can be heard. I just heard myself easily. Granton and Garner are working together. 30 seconds to go here in qualifying. Garner to the inside. He doesn't have a draft, though. Now these two drivers have a draft. They come to the line. Newman's done. Nothing there. Six seconds to go. Jeff Bright, the fastest guy right now. Three, these guys will have one lap to go. So will Rat. Sprilly Tube's done. David Rat, the last guy to complete a lap here. Looking at the speeds, your top six still the same. Nothing, so here is your top six. Jeff Bright, Julio Caesar, Steve Morgan, Benny Watson, Tony Green, and Riley Spray, which will advance to the next round. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change mics for right now. I've been using uh, my webcam. I'm going to switch to my... Okay. I know, I'm quiet. I know. Okay. So there we go. I will probably be out of sync for the next few. I just I was just testing it out just for this round. All right. R three S three R three, round one group one. So that is stated. I'll take a picture of the top six. I hope I sound much better now, guys. Do I sound clearer? But I'll sync, though. I'm trying to see how I can keep my... I sent a ticket to Elgato, by the way, about why is my webcam out of sync. I'm just trying to get it fixed, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's move on to group two, to group number two. Twenty-five cars. If you are not in group one, you are in group two. We didn't see anyone hit 29.1 or anything in the 28s. If everyone's in 29, oh my goodness, this qualifying will be very close. It's for the for the top six and, and as well for the non-charter drivers. First guy out on the track is going to be the 83 of Kenny Stremme. Drummy, one of the one of the original three season veterans in the sport today. I believe he has won in the winter series. Will you make the race, DJ? I'm not too sure. So Strummy coming off of turn number four. First lap underway for the 83 Arthritis Foundation. Arthritis. That's the Arthritis Foundation Chevrolet. I, I, that's tough to say. <laughs> 
Down the back stretch he goes. I've been good, Jaden. How are you? You're 21st lead out. We'll have to see what go what happens. So Strummy completes his first lap, 33-4-2. On the track as well, the 88 of Zach Ryan. Ryan at the moment, he is currently 16th in the standings, 31 po points behind the points leader Michael Canto. Was in the battle to win at Atlanta, but I believe he was slowed down by Johnny Garner. He's second quick with a 33-6-7. Ryan down the back stretch. Out of the turn there at the line. It's going to be a better lap here. 30-0-7-1 up to 6. Time driver so far qualified to top six at the moment. It's Shepard, Eli, Scott, Stapleton, Canto, and Ryan. And it looks like uh, the 83 has gone up to second spot now. Kenny Stremme has improved. Updates on the times once again. Caudill is up to the fourth position, down to fifth. Noah Eli at the top of the charts for right now. Stapleton down. And the 88 has gone up to fifth. Max Anderson's up to second. Coming to the line now this time. Shepard back to the top. Eli second. Anderson third. Canto fourth. Ryan fifth. And Stremme is sixth. Oh man, this is some tight racing here. Eric Monaco, Eden Shepard, Kenny Stremme, and Marty Johnson. Hamill up to sixth spot now in the number 12. Off of turn two. Now has lost it immediately. E Denton is up to second. Oh no, don't tell me. Oh my gosh, did the game just crash again? I'm done. I'm done. Why does this game keep crashing on me? Just. Like, luckily, this well, this one, luckily this is just qualifying. This is not a race. Okay, where are we starting qualifying? So if you're in the top six, I'm sorry, nothing I can do about it. If this was a race and you got playoff points, I would let you keep your playoff points. I yes, I am cursed. This happened a lot back in the uh, Indy Car Oval series. Hasn't done that. Hasn't crashed in the middle of a race or qualifying until we had Atlanta. So back into qualifying we go. I'm gonna start the clock all over again. Our timing and scoring system crashed once again. Alright, let's go qualifying. First guy on track, Colin Denton in the number 75. Denton has won at Kansas before, won the Kansas playoff race in season two of the friendly summer series. I believe he won it as well in uh, season three, is, and he did win a race here. If not, it was Chicagoland. I think it was Chicagoland. If not, it was here in the DirecTV Fall Series of the season. So, Denton currently at the moment. He's on his first lap. 179 in a turn one. Full throttle. Has to catch it for a moment. Loses some speed. While he's on the middle of the track, the groove here is the low line. Okay, Cardi, you can stop spamming. <laughs> At the line, Denton has a 32-3-6 up to first. 
on the track as well. You see a lot of trucks coming on out of pit road. The 16 Christian Vargas being his first lap. Currently in the point standings. We find Mr. Vargas. He is 34th in the standings. Hasn't been able to finish a race yet this season. He is, if I'm correct, the lowest of all the chartered drivers in the standings. No, it's not. Okay. He's got a 3280 up to third quickest. The 20 of Noah Eli in the standings at the moment. He is 15th, 30 points back. I'm going to put in my charger in a moment. Right now, your top six is Denton Anderson, Duke, that Eli, Vargas, and Thompson. Zach Ryan on his warm up lap. Chandler Caudill will have a 30 second time for right now. 32 41. Here's Keegan Thompson up to second spot. Monaco's in seventh. Here's Marty Johnson coming to the line. He is going to be sixth. Anderson up to second. Denton's the top of the charts here. Dude that improves his time. Seventh is TJ Haley. Gatlin Downey at the line. Ninth, sixth, second, and eighth. And second is once again. Alright, let's get to someone else here. Kenny Stremme on his about to begin his first lap. As is Aiden Shepard. Elijah Gordon at the line. 29-944 up to 11th. Elvin Summers and Marty Johnson. Johnson up to 8th. Summers 17th. Anderson second. Denton top. Gatlin Downey once again coming to the line. He's 16th quickest. We got a 5, a, an 8, a 4, a 3, and a 2. Eric Monaco and Keegan Thompson working together. Let's see what we got. We have an 18th there for Thompson. Summers and Johnson once again. Improvement for Summers, 21st. Michael Canto comes to the line. 33, 45, 25th. Gatlin Downey back at the line once again. Here's how they look. Seven, a nine, a three, four, and two. Thompson and Monaco once again. A 15 there for Keegan. Johnson and Summers again. No improvements on the times. Improvement at the line here. Yes, Derek Hamill to 19th. Improving for Duke that he's seventh. Here we have an, a seven four five eight three seven four two. All right, let's let's see. Has every driver completed a lap so far in qualifying? Yes, they have. So let's talk about the drivers. Let's go to our. We've already talked about Denton. We've talked about Ryan already. Let's talk about yesterday's winner, Diego Yepes. Congrats to you, good sir. Oh, he got some damage from Jay Rodriguez in the 38. So he'll lose some time there for a moment. And we do have our first time in the 29.1s today. It's Nathan Stapleton in the 7. Nathan is currently... If I can find him... <laughs> 17th in the standings. That is 32 points off of the leader at the moment. The 29th truck, Donovan Duth at 3 wide on the inside, on board with him. Canto goes up into the wall. I think that was the same time he got last lap. I'm pretty sure it was. TJ Hanley in the 30 did not make the race at Atlanta. If he gets a top six in this round, he is guaranteed to be in. Let's talk about the 18 of Cole. 
Cole Baker. If I can find him. There he is. I sco I went by him. <laughs> He's 8th quickest at the moment. Almost won this race in Season 1 as a replacement driver for, I believe it was Johnny Garner 19. Baker led, I believe he led the most laps, but was close to winning it. Baker off of turn four. He's 29.297 at the moment. 29.670. Let's go to the 15 of Jaden Scott. There's Jaden making his, I believe it's his third star of the season, if not his second. This is his third. Looking to make his, well, he's making, looking to make his third star. Ninth quickest at the moment. Day 29, 317. Let's go to Aiden Shepard in the number 10. He's working on Elijah Gordon for the for a track position. Right now at around 29.6, his best lap 29.3 for Carter Rattan in 10th. Next car will go to the 50. Oh, someone's blowing up. Someone has blown the edge, and it's Noah Eli. Let's see how this happened for the driver of the 20 United Rental Chevrolet. Just going into the turn. Engine just... So Noah Eli will have to go to the back for an engine change tomorrow. Update on the top six. Nothing has changed for now. Wait a second. No, there is a change, I believe. Yes, there are two changes. Gatlin Downey has made its way up to third. And Cody Smart has made its way up to fourth. Let's talk about Cody Smart in the 97. Won this race last year as a full-time driver for Brad Keselowski Racing. Although he's not guaranteed an entry just yet, unless he makes top six. Down to the 57, looking to make his second start of the season. Almost won yesterday's race, but um, lost it due to uh, being on the high side of the track. Not to lap traffic, he was on the high side. Working with the fast cars right now of Nathan Stapleton and Jaden Scott and Cody Smart. Go to the 23 now, Max Anderson. There he is in turn number 3, 13th quickest at the moment, 29.381. He is, excuse me, fifth position in the standings. He has a top five and a top 10 this season. To the 38, Jay Rodriguez, if I can find him on the track. There he is, just crossing the start-finish line. 14th quickest at the moment, not guaranteed an entry yet. He's made two starts this season. He did flip at Daytona, just a, just a small little rollover. Did retire from the race. Go to Patrick Smith in the 46. He's in turn number four. Eighth in the standings on board with Patrick as he is ahead of Elijah Gordon and Hayden Shepard. Faster lap there goes to 11 quickest. Any improvements on the top six? They stay where they are right now. Had the drop, he could have a faster lap here, but Gordon's got the high line right now. Oh, he doesn't have the draft. Aiden Shepard drafted Elijah Gordon off the head. He's getting a little tight off the corner. So 29, 297 for Patrick Smith. Let's find the 63 of Michael Canto. He's got an advisor cam for us today, so let's go on board with him. 
are up in the wall, I believe, I heard. I don't think we have a wreck. If we do, we will see smoke in a few moments. He is the point leader. He has two top fives this season. And he's going to come on down pit road. Sure was like to come in and come out. Payroll speed here is 55 miles an hour. I thought it was 45 for him, but apparently not. It's 55. Gonna get a tire change, it looks like. So they're gonna cool the engine it looks like on the 63. While we're at, let's go talk with about another driver. Let's go to Keegan Thompson, the 28. He's still have to make his debut this season for the FBNY. He's on the track. There he is in the number 28, 29, 4.43 right now. I don't think he'll make the race at the moment with this time. I believe I saw him behind the 28. I did not. Chandler Caudill in the 33. 29 471, 18th quickest. Currently at the moment, he is in the top 10 in points, if I'm correct. He's not. Thought he was. And where is he in the standings? Let's find Mr. Chandler. He's 37 in the standings, has not finished a single race yet this season. To Elijah Gordon in the number 99. He's had an okay season so far for him. Currently 25th in the standings. Has finished, every, I believe he's finished every single race this season except for Atlanta. He's 19th quickest. Updates in the top 6 any chance? No we do not. Over to the one, Eric Monaco has made one start so far this season. That came at the Kansas, that came at Daytona. He's 20th at the moment. 21st, Kenny Stern, we've talked about him. And or Eli, Marty Johnson, the four, we'll talk about him. He was a part of that big wreck we had at Atlanta yesterday. Had the cargo on top of him, which was Reagan Whitlock. Finished third at Daytona. Curly stands, if I'm correct, in the top 20 in the points. Got the number 12, Derek Hamill. Has made two starts this season. Was a slow car. Oh, it was Daytona? Ow, okay. I'm not too sure. Derek Hamill, though, has made two starts this season. Was one of the lap cars that decided who would win the race at Atlanta. And it was Dio Yepes, but that was all thanks to Johnny Garner, though. Alvin Summers looking to make his first start of the season. It's had some tough qualifying runs. Waters Motorsports. Hopefully they get a start in before the playoffs begin. Four, so four and a half to go here. Nothing has changed on the top six. Let's find the biggest pack right now. We got a lot of two truck racing for right now. So all the trucks are spread it out and someone thought I just saw someone park their car. Oh, Downey. Did Downey wreck? I think we may have had a wreck. Or that or we just tagged the wall. Oh, look at this! They won four wide at Kansas! Oh my gosh, how in the world did they survive that? And, dude, that's on the grass! He was on the Geico restart zone! Wow! Can you say lucky or what? That could have been a big wreck. We could have had some backup trucks there, ladies and gents. 
Okay, I gotta put in my charger real quick. The battery's almost dead on my MacBook. Like usual whenever we stream these races. There we go, it's plugged in now. Top 6 has not changed in a while. Stapleton has the fastest car here at the moment with that 29.158. Only driver in the 29.1. Getting passed by Jaden Scott at the moment. Oh, those Stapleton did manage to keep it. Now he's riding the high line. Dilly dilly. I'll be right back, guys. I'm actually going to grab a drink real quick. Be right back, everyone. If there's a wreck or a blow up, someone just uh, let me know in the chat. Do you guys see smoke or anything? Change to the top six. Oh my goodness. Group one was more exciting than group two. Zach, oh my gosh. That makes sight for a moment. Ice cold, fresh Perrier, dilly dilly. Anyone who wrecks or blows up from now on will be sent to the pit of misery. So approaching the two, we just passed the two minute mark here in qualifying. We got a big pack right now here. It looks like four drivers are trying their best to work with each other. You got Eric Monaco in the one, Patrick Smith in the 46, Cody's part in the 97, and Colin Denton in the 75. Let's see how they do off of turn number two. Denton being passed by Smart. As they come to the line, uh, we'll see how it goes here. No improvements among the times here. Looks like a pack of three trying to work together. Oh! Johnson and Summers just touched the wall, looks like. No improvements there. Here's Downey and Vargas, one minute to go in this session. Jay Rodriguez, nothing. Cardo and Ryan, nothing. They have the same laps. Oh, here we go right here. The pack of five once again approaching the 45 second mark. Off of turn two, down the back. Denton to the inside on Smart. Gets a little tight. Here goes Patrick Smith. To the inside and the improvements among the pack. Nothing. And qualifying's over? Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Drivers. That quick. Dang. Alright. So there's the times right there. Stapleton, Dutha, Downey, Smart, Denton, and Ryan will advance to the top 12.
Alrighty, here we go. So, round three. Or S3, R3, round one, group two. Okie dokie. Now we will import the top six, the top tw the the spots in thirteen to forty-two. All right, so we'll load up Open Office. my exports imports here all right so here we go make some room here Oh wait, hang on, I'll do this. Starting lineup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so here we go. Zoom in everything here. Gotta zoom in to a hundred percent at the moment. Start at the seventh position. So thirteenth. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Diego Yepes will start thirteenth. Starting 14th will be the 30th of TJ Hanley. So he should make the race. Starting 15th, the 15th of Gene Scott. Starting 16th, the 50th of Carter Friesen. Seventeenth, the 21, Cortez Newman. Starting 18th. Let me look at this. It should be 46 of Patrick Smith. 19th is the 18 of Cole Baker. Oops. It's Cole, not Cole. So it's a 297. It's a Marcus Sachi in, in 20th. Twenty first, the town of Aiden Shepherd. Twenty second, the thirteen, Justin Zidel. In twenty third is the forty four, Alexander Russell. I didn't have the guy in the twenty two three. Yes, I did. Zachary Fitzwater starts in twenty fourth. 25th is Tristan Allen. 26th is Max Anderson. 27th is David Rett. 28th is Lauren Martinez. 29th is Jay Rodriguez. 414. All right. 30th is Isaac Nichols. 31st, 4-3-2 versus a 4-1-4. Michael Canto. 
Up next, Edwin Mendez. He starts 32nd for right now. Ethan Hoffman's next. Then it's Brian Ferris in 34th. Keegan Thompson, 35th. 36th, I believe it's Isaac Redman, it is. Thirty seventh is Chandler Cardo. Oops. All right, thirty eighth is Elijah Gordon. 39th is Eric Monaco. 40th is Kenny Stremme. 41st is Noah Eli. He has to start at the back, by the way. Oops, not Noah. Noah Eli. 42nd is Marty Johnson. No, it's not Marty Johnson. It's DJ Reed. 43rd is Johnny Garner. 44th is Marty Johnson. Oh my gosh, too many fours here. 45th is Jake Rogers. 46th, that is Reagan Whitlock, unless I already did him. Four, yes, Reagan Whitlock is next. Oops, 47th is Derek Hamill. 48th is Alvin Summers, who I don't think will make it. Then we got Cody Prince. Uh oh, I forgot someone. And Stuart Gretton. Okay. I forgot someone. Did you make it? Uh, DJ, I don't think you did. How though? I gotta figure something out. I missed a guy. 26 plus 25 is 51. I have 50. So I forgot someone. I got. Let's see. I'm gonna make sure I got everyone. I don't think I got Friesen actually, to be honest. I got. Okay, here's who I got. I got Friesen, Newman, Sachi Zidel, Russell, Fitzy, Allen. Did I get right? Yes, I did. Martinez, Nichols. Did I get everyone? Mendez, Hoffman, Ferris, Redman. Reed. We got Reed, and then we got Gardner. Rogers, Whitlock, Prince, and Grin. So I got everyone from group one. Did I get everyone from group two? I don't think I did. That means I'm missing someone from group two. Let's see here, making sure. I got Yepes, Hanley. Scott, I did not get Christian Vargas. I don't think I got Vargas. No, I did not. Okay, so he's at 29.270. And he should be tied with Friesen. That's why. Okay, we got now. I got Tony Green, yes. Tony Green should be even should be in the top twelve, yeah. Yeah, Green's in the top six, so okay, so let's go to first off. 
Let's go to who's going to the back. No, Eli. Okay, and now here's who did not qualify. Alvin Summers did not qualify. Uh, Derek Hamill did not qualify. DJ Reed did not qualify. Eric Monaco did not qualify. <sighs> Isaac Redman and Keegan Thompson did not qualify. Three spots, three more drivers have to go, looks like. Edwin Mendez does not. Jay Rodriguez and Lauren Martinez wrap round up the field. Unless. 49, 45, 38. Let me look at these two real quick. Ooh, a tie. So Jay Rodriguez does not make it. So now it comes down to points. Is Rat or Martinez higher? I believe it goes to David Rat. It does. Rat makes the race. Martinez goes home. That's your top 42. Now, save that, keep that open. I can close this stuff out. Whoops, I actually have to save that. Actually, I can just better mind that. There we go. Now, let's get to your top 12. Uh, well, Keegan, there's a timeout for you, buddy. Don't even care if you haven't even made a race yet. That's the rules. <laughs> Get to your top 12 here, ladies and gents. We're going to create a new roster here. So here is your top 12. From group 1, we've got... Jeff Wright. Julio Caesar, Steve Morgan, Benny Watson, Tony Green, and Riley Sprilly Tube. From group two, we have Nathan Stapleton. Donovan Duthet, Gatlin Downey, Cody Smart, Colin Denton, Zach Ryan. That's your top 12. Here we go. 
Round two, five minutes. We will find out who gets the ball. No, 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 Zach, 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 you ready? He's going to the pit of misery, dilly dilly. So five minutes ago, we had two guys going at the same time. They could be a front row. There are the first two out on the track. Make sure we know who those are. It's going to be Benny Watson and Nathan Stapleton, and they're the teammates from Red Horse Racing! Oh my goodness, could the Red Horse Racing teammates get the ball? That would be a big accomplishment right there. Next on the track is Donovan Duth in the 29. He's by himself. Two more guys out on track, Galen Downey and Cody Smart going for the pole here. Off of turn four, and there's some ground there between Stapleton and Watson. We'll just have to see what happens. They are on lap one. Meanwhile, these guys, Ryan, going out now. Jeff Bright out on the track. Down the back stretch. Stapleton about to complete his first lap. There goes Sprinter on the track. Some other guys have not come up, gone out yet. Stapleton comes to the line to complete lap one. That's going to be... There's... 32.16, Watson 30.400. Let's see who's next to go for a lap. Donovan Duth in the 29 is in turn number 30. Coming to the line for Duth. It. It's going to be top of the charts, 31.88. It won't be long though. Stapleton will probably top it. 29.910, got it. Downey, 29.888. Watson, top of the charts with a 29.706. Smart, 30.046. Here comes Steve Morgan. He's on his first lap right now. Zach Ryan to the line. 32.71 puts him in a 6. Jeff Bright, 32.61. That's 6 for him. Dude, that back to the line. He's got a 29.30.016. Tony Green on his first lap. Spirly tube at the line, 4th. Stapleton top, 29, oh, Watson goes to the top now, 29.579. With help from Galen Downey, who's in third. Morgan completes his first lap. 31.61. Zach Ryan to fourth. Jeff Bright to eighth. Donovan Duth in his seventh. He goes to fourth. Tony Green on his first lap, he goes to tenth. Spurly Tubes. Top of the charts, 29 for 29 for Riley Spurly Tube. Steve Morgan working on lap number two. Stapleton is knocked down to second. Morgan, 29898, stays at 10th. Ryan, fourth. Jeff Bright, ninth. Donovan Duthet improves his time, stays at seventh. Spurly Tube, will we improve the time here? He improves this time as well. Tony Green 10. Stapleton up to third. Downey is now second. Watson, I believe, has come down pit road. He has. 1, 23 to go for the pole. Steve Morgan improves to seventh. Ryan second. Denton 12th. Bright ninth. Duthet from eighth. Cannot improve. Spurly tube. Improves the time. He goes to the top. 29-325. Second is Green. Stapleton fifth. Downey's fourth. Caesar cannot improve. Morgan comes. Less than a minute to go. Improves the time is eighth. Ryan is third. Denton's eighth. Jeff Bright is eleventh. Duthit is still tenth. Here's the fastest guy on the track. Improves again! 29-296. Green goes to a 29-370. Julio Caesar comes in line. He's the slowest guy in the track. Cannot improve there. Here comes Zach Ryan and Colin Denton. Denton's got a draft on Ryan. Improves it. Goes to third. Zach Ryan is fourth. 
And I think we had a collision between, oh, Gail and Downey and Cody Smart collided. Ten seconds to go. Green improves this time, 29-360. Julio Caesar. That was his final lap. 11th. It's going to come down to Tony Green and Riley Spurley, too, on who's going to get the pole for this one. Here they come to the line. It's going to be, it's going to be Tony Green and Riley Spurley, too, at the line. It's going to be Riley Spurley, too, who will start on the pole for t tonight's SFP 250. So here is the top 12 now. Spurly, Tube, Green, Denton, Ryan, Downey, Stapleton, Watson, Smart, Morgan, Duthit, Caesar, and Bright. <sighs> Take a picture of the top 12 here. All right, so there you go. That is your starting lineup. Here, I'll scroll down as well. And unfortunately, Summers, Hamill, Reed, Monaco, Redmond, Thompson, Mendez, Rodriguez, and Martinez will make the trip back to Charlotte for the next race. Alrighty, so final thoughts on qualifying today. Oh my goodness, what? A battle we have for that top for the pole position. Riley Spirly Tube, his second front row of the season. Yesterday he started on the outside pole. Let's see how he does tonight. The green flag comes out at 7 o'clock for the SFP 250. Uh, uh, we'll take a break here for the next four hours. If anything changes, though, um, on the time the race begins, I will let you guys know for more, to keep uh, updates. For more updates, go to nrfsrl.weebly.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook at the NRFSRL. I'm Mario Sakal. You've been watching the NOFSRL Camping World Winter Series. See you guys in a bit.